Hi there. I am Jody Seibert, business coach and consultant. Back again with Asana to show you how you can automate recurring projects. Say for example, you are a graphic designer and if you are designing logos and other visual branding for a business, there's likely a, a similar set of steps you follow for each of these projects. And what you could do is set up a project in Asana that you can copy over and over. Now, saving an actual project in Asana as a template is a premium feature, but I did find a workaround that I believe works just as well. And what I did is I created two projects and then I archived them just to keep them out of the way. The first one is a bookkeeping review where I just created a bunch of steps. And notice I called it bookkeeping review template. And I just did all the steps, a couple of them. Um, I have some subtasks in there. And when you hover your mouse and it turns in the hand, you can reorder your tasks and kind of move things around. And once I have everything the way I want it, notice I did not put a due date or assign anyone anything. I named it bookkeeping review template. And then I archived it. And now, of course, it says unarchive. So you saw me click the link that says show archived projects. Um, it's kind of weird, but Asana says if you refresh your screen, it will hide your archived projects again so that like, they don't show up in the my tasks that's why i archive them because otherwise they would always show up as unassigned unscheduled tasks which could be just cluttering up your work area so when you show your archived projects i have two of them i set up and what you can do is when you are ready to do this project again you can copy it and then you can name it, you know, it could be, you know, awesome client MailChimp setup and decide, you know, what all that you want it. And the default should be fine because I didn't assign due dates or people or anything. So that each time you sell these services, you just come in on archive and to your archive projects, copy it and create a brand new project so that, and you notice the very first task I have here is copy project and invite client. So that you can invite your client to collaborate on this new project. And then go through and assign the various tasks to you and or your client to make sure that things happen in the correct order. And this can help you be consistent in your workflow and being able to schedule enough time that you don't get overbooked so that you know about how long each of these tasks will take and set some deadlines and keep these projects on track. So I hope you found that useful. I am Jody Seibert, business coach and consultant and have an awesome day.